Good evening, folks. I thought I'd share a tiny bit of personal prepping that you might be able to apply or re-engineer for your personal situation. Now, anyone who knows about prepping or who searches the topic online will find the basics about food and water and supplies, but if we are talking about a major situation that could last for longer than just a few days, one has to begin considering the major event scenario where you would need to be self-sufficient, perhaps for some time. This requires an intimate knowledge of your local area. You can't prep and stack enough supplies forever. And one of the best reasons for prepping can be seen in a very long video linked for you below called Energy from Space that is highly recommended viewing. Now towards the later portion of that video, I go through a number of basic prepping items and this here is what I can say positively for myself before we get to a personal deficit. I was able to get out of an overpopulated area and to where the earth doesn't punish life as harshly with natural disasters. I've got all the basics and a lot of advanced prepping items. Now on top of all of those things, I have an intimate knowledge of the type of forest you find around Pittsburgh, Eastern Ohio, Appalachia. I can survive there. Problem is, I don't live there anymore. I live in New Mexico, and all of the knowledge I have about western Pennsylvania is utterly useless to me out here outside of the skill with a firearm. So, what do I do? Start from the beginning. If I have recognized that my family's number one weakness is our cultural disconnect from, say, the Hopi or Navajo who survived here for so long, then we better have some information or at least a good place to start. Now, whether you'd want to memorize books and go out and practice your knowledge, or you simply want to have the books and have the knowledge on hand in case you need it, both situations represent actioned intellectual prepping in the local knowledge category. Now, my hope in sharing this video with you is that one of two things will happen. Either you can realize that you need to learn more about your local area and take action like I did, or if you know your local area, you can take an honest look at your situation and analyze your biggest weakness. Can you figure out the easiest way to get started on fixing your weakest link? Either way, as we often discuss on our podcast, there is the obvious supply side of prepping, but there is also an intellectual side. This comes in many forms, including gained skills, experience, endurance, none of which you can get from a book, by the way. But it would be just as accurate to value the information available to you in the literature. Be safe, everyone.